Hi everyone, it's Jenny Alice here and today I'm going to be showing you how I use my Nanlite projector mount. So this is what the light looks from the Forza 60 without the uh, projector on it and as you can see it just kind of disperses across the entire cove. I'm going to show you how different the light looks through the projector. Okay, so as you can see, it's a lot more controlled, the light, compared to when it was just the Forza 60 on its own. And it's also an interesting fact, is it's 17 times more powerful with the projector mounted onto the Forza 60. Now you can also adjust the focal length on the projector. So you just twizzle this twizzly on a <laughs> twizzle this nozzle and you can change the focal length. So you can actually make it quite a diffused edge or you can make it quite a solid edge with obviously controlling the light, you get a great spotlight. So now we've added our model Izzy into the frame. But if you wanted to kind of mix it up a little bit, you could also push down here and I can literally make different shapes so I can really pinpoint exactly where I want the light to go. To really take this to the next level, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in some gobos. So this is called go between optics. So basically all it is, is it's gonna go in between the projector. Now, when I got this projector from Nanlite, it actually comes with four already. So I'm going to just play around and show you some effects that you can create. So I'm loving this look and what I did was I changed the focal length just to make sure that the blinds were really crisp and sharp. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off my mix panel, which was kind of like the fill light for the scene. And I just want it to be just the projector. This is because it will just be such a high contrast image. And also when you're pointing the projector straight ahead, obviously it stays in the same kind of shape. But if you move it to the side, you can also get like warp the projector and create some different images with the gobos as well. Now I'm loving the images created so far. However, I do love color and I really want to add a little bit of color into this scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two Nanlite Mix Panel 150s on either side and I'm going to set that to, well, I haven't decided yet. I'll tell you when I do it. I'm going to set it to a color onto the background and just see what kind of vibe we can create from that as well. So the projector really stands out and you can see the, the circle is super like, wow, bam. So we're gonna get our model Izzy in here and we're gonna get some shots of hair posing in front of the projector and then we're gonna see what else we can create on this look. But I wanna go one step further. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some gel into the actual gobos when I put it into the Nanlite projector. And this is just gonna really level up the amount of color in this scene. Slide that in, nice and quick. Okay, and that is the end of today's video. I hope that you enjoyed watching me using Nanlite Projector Mount and all the creative ideas that we did on set today. Don't forget to subscribe to Nanlite's YouTube channel and I'll see you guys again soon.